All right, the art museum is coming to a neighborhood near you, and it's full of activities people can enjoy. Yes, art enthusiast Lori, uh, <laughs> Mona Lori Wallace, is in the <laughs> park right now, finding all the details. Hello, love. I love this so much. This is so much fun. It's a mobile uh, little addition here by the Cracker Art Museum, and this is something that used to travel to elementary schools and park there for classes to come through. Now they're visiting different locations in the community and offering this up to families to come in and enjoy all of these activities. So, Stacy here doing a little painting. Good morning. So I absolutely love that this is so accessible, and there's so much fun stuff to do in here. There is. We, you know, we design it for all ages. We just want people to come, relax, and just get creative. And it wouldn't be, you know, from the Carker Art Museum if yeah. there wasn't a little art to talk about. Yeah. So yeah. let's start on this wall. This is the coolest um, depiction here, and I love the artist that did it. Yes, Aliyah Sadiq is one of our favorite artists. We try to have a lot of different community artists represented in here, and her work is just so personable. It really sort of speaks to, like, just people living their lives and celebrating each other. So we love her work, and we have a little activity that people can do to sort of, you know, be inspired by her work and then create their own own sort of portrait of family and friends getting together. Yeah, everything in here is super interactive. So the idea is that they come and look at what they've done and then create their own art over Definitely. here on the side. And you have another local artist over here that you guys are also showcasing. Yeah, some people might recognize um, Brandon Gastonel. He has some fabulous murals. Um, he's been active in wide open walls. And so his pieces are really complex and we love him as an artist. And so this piece sort of lets people really drill in on some of the symbols and different sort of iconography he uses and sort of pick those out and just focus in on those. And when I saw this, right away I said to Stacy, I want to bring this back to my refrigerator. I haven't had these in so long. But what a fun way for families to come in and play. Definitely. Um, this is our magnet poetry area, and it's so much fun for kids of all ages to come together to write a few sentences or even build um, a poem out. And then over here on this wall, more magnets. Yes, more magnets. So um, this is more of a writing prompt. You can choose different magnets for who, what, when, where, and then you can write a story. And the idea is after you write a story, you get to share it with a friend. And this is something that I mentioned that used to be in elementary schools where you yes. guys would visit and it would be more mm -hmm. like a field trip. But now that you're out in the community, mm -hmm. uh, what has the response been from families that have popped through? I think people are really excited that we're here. I think people are surprised that we're here for such a long time. We'll be here through September 22nd. Um, but it's been a really great response. Lots of kids have walked through, have worked on puzzles, have gotten the chance to create art. Um, everyone's really excited. Yeah, and it brings a lot of fun activities to them that otherwise they might not have a chance to experience, and that's the whole point. Yeah, I think, you know, most of the time, young people don't know how to just sort of generate cre their creative energy. And so this is hopefully going to spark some innovation and some ideas and just really support also their education, you know, throughout. And so we're happy to be at Oak Park. We're going to go to the Maple Center. We're going to go to um, Leotada Floyd Elementary. So we're going to be in your community, so check us out. And where can people find that list? So we have a QR code code, but just contact the Quack Art Museum and we'll be happy to tell them the schedule and our open hours. And then we're going to also have artists come in and do special workshops here. We'll have like little pop-up workshops happening outside. So cool. Oak Park Community Center is where we are this morning. I said fun for the whole family because I really like these things. Yeah, it's but fun, isn't it? <laughs> this is a bug, in case you were wondering. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good look for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. It's awesome. I'll try Thanks, Glory. <laughs>